I have been deprived my literary right, and I crave an audience. The form of the tragic autobiography is dead, or will be soon, along with most of its authors. Goodbye, written word. So I have chosen this form, radio, to author my life. Not because my life is particularly worthy, but because it is hopefully, comically unworthy. So I guess my adventure for the day, um, this Tinder chick was messaging me. I mean, I knew something was up. Her profile said something about how uh, she's doing an artistic project. And, you know, I felt the match was more kind of about that than any kind of romantic interest she had in me. Sure enough, she messages me, would you be interested in being this art project? I'm like, what do I have to do? And she's like, well, you have to let me take pictures of you in your bedroom. I'm like, well, that sounds cool. You know, I love my bedroom and like, I do want to be identified with it very heavily. So like, I'm interested, and, but I'm thinking, you know, what's the catch here? So I'm like, yeah, that sounds cool. What do you, what do you need me to do? She's like, uh, I need you to get undressed. And I'm like, oh shit. Know how undressed. She's like, I need you to be naked. <laughs> she says it's about male empowerment. And uh that's all she said about it. Like I kept trying to ask her questions about like, well what the fuck is your thesis? You know, like what is the what is the point of this project? And she just kept saying, Well, it's about male empowerment. So Last night, I'm sitting right here, and I realized that my little brother had texted me a week ago because his dad and my mom are getting divorced, and he wants to come visit to clear his head. I forgot to text him back, and so I remembered last night, like, oh, shit, well, he probably forgot about it, or, you know, he, he's going to come later or something. So I get a text from him today, yo, is it cool if I am there tomorrow morning I text him back a few minutes later, like, um, I hope you haven't brought your ticket yet, but, like, I got kind of a lot of things to do. Like, this girl's coming. I didn't say this in the text, but, like, this girl's coming tomorrow to, like, take naked pictures of me. So he texts me back. I already bought my ticket. And, I'll, you know, like, I can come next week if you want. And I'm like, no, no, no. Like, they don't give you a refund. They don't let you change your ticket. So, uh Max, I gotta go pick him up in about seven hours at the Chinatown bus. Then, um, I'm gonna come back here, hopefully take a nap or something, because I need my beauty sleep, because they're gonna take naked pictures of me. I don't know how the fuck I'm gonna explain that to him, or if it's gonna come up or what. YouTube. Yeah. It's gonna go around the world. Promote, you gotta promote yourself, man. Well, how do I do that? Hit that subscribe button. Hit that. Like yeah, button. I never really say that. You need to. Yeah. Do you think that would make a difference? Everyone does on YouTube. Everyone says that. Yeah, and it does. Uh huh. That you just gotta be. Tell me how to get more views. I had no idea. I don't do that, but. Ed Bassmaster gets a lot of fucking views. <laughs> yeah. Just for fucking with people in public. Yeah. People get famous for playing video games, which is fucking stupid. Yeah. Uh, Twitch. Twitch. A lot yeah. of people watch Twitch. Um, I mean, this chair is kind of a big part of my life. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. So I don't know. So maybe like this will be like part of your personality. Yeah. So I think it should be okay. Okay. Yeah. But whatever you think the best setup is as far as like lighting or whatever, I know like this is backlit. No, no, this is fine. Okay. I can just shoot you here. Obviously, I won't be able to like get you up there. So yeah. this is perfectly fine. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Let's, uh, should we, um, maybe like give you privacy? I mean, yeah, it's whatever. If you just want to get started. Okay. Um, so yeah, like just get ready and... You're just going to have to, like, get undressed and get comfortable. Okay. Do you have a particular place you want me to sit or anything? Or I would just sit exactly right there. Like Here? where you're sitting. Okay. Cool. Exactly. And then just kind of, like, hang out. And <sighs> I'll just start shooting. Do you want me to do something? Do you want me to read or... No, I want you to just, just kind of... Do you want me to... Hang out like you're just having a conversation with me. Okay. All right. Yeah. So you don't want me to, like, look at the camera or anything like that? Pose? Um, just kind of like... I'll, I'll tell you what to do. All right, all right, sweet. I'll bring a few things, like a book or two, but like I really okay. like this whole like setting you have here. So. Sweet. Let's get you started. Great. Okay. All right, so just kind of like hang out. Yeah. Um, but like, I kind of like need you to like, kind of like not cover everything up. Okay. Just be like, you're like natural and you're just yeah. hanging out. Like this, yeah. maybe? That's cool. Okay. Just kind of like hang out, like yeah, right. Just relax, you know. Just casual. Not, yeah. Not formal. Yeah, maybe put your like leg, like a little bit more like relaxed. Too. Okay. Don't be so stiff. Okay. Um, it's a little stiff and awkward. Just be like. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Maybe put your yeah. That's cool, like that. Okay. And then just look at me. Yeah. Yeah, like that. Okay. Maybe you put your head back a little bit. Like you're kind of leaning on that bar. Yeah. Like that? Yeah. Maybe like turn your head a little bit. Like that. Okay. Um, and then maybe you could do like with your hand, that hand, you yeah. could put it like on the like wall. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, like maybe stretch it out, like yeah. elongate it. Okay. Yeah, and like, yeah, and then like kind of like look at me. Okay, that's good. Just trying to get to a good angle. Yeah, no, please. Do whatever you gotta do. Fuck off right now. <laughs> hey, can I call you later? <laughs> Process of okay, shooting, yeah. making people. Now take off your glasses, but oh, yeah. do the same pose. Okay. Maybe like that leg. Mm -hmm. Maybe like on the books or something. Like here. Mm. No, let's do like pornographic. <laughs> yeah. Um, you can kind of feel that. Yeah, just kind of like be majestic. That's the right word. I'm looking majestic. For. Be okay. majestic. Okay. Okay. These came out great. Cool. If we're a little blurry, like, we'll yeah, down, it's fine because I'm like painting over it. So right. I'm just gonna like recreate it in my own vision, but it's gonna be actually all like ultra realistic. So. Yeah. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah, come back. Cool. Thanks for the invite. Yeah, for All sure. All right, take care. So I'm about to leave for this erotic art show that this girl who painted the naked picture of me is having um, in Midtown, 57th Street, where the art galleries used to be. None of this downtown shit. Trying to encourage the sunshine to come out and see us.
Unfortunately, I think I have to leave. This is so interesting. I really want to stay because there's like all these hot babes and like I want to have conversations and party with everybody, but I got to go to this class. I poured myself a wine spritzer here for springtime, you know. <laughs> So I am going to this reading with Island Miles, my favorite writer, my hero, and, uh, at Long Island City Bar, where I had played a couple times in the last couple months. Uh, kind of a strange coincidence that she's reading here. wet underneath me and I felt weirdly sick. I got up and there was blood underneath me and I faintly understood and I pulled myself up. I remember cotton around me, pajamas and my sheets and I carried myself downstairs, my bare feet hitting the fake wool of the carpet and I could hear those soft thud, those dull thuds as I wavered down. I went to the bathroom and sat on the toilet. There was more of it, blood, and there was this whirring feeling inside of me. I thought I was going to pass out and I did. There were big, huge clots of blood. It looked like liver, which I hate, pouring out of this thing I wouldn't yet call cunt or anything. I didn't know about the inside of me. I was afraid to break myself. I knew there was an up, but I didn't go there. I thought I would get hurt. It was almost like I was already broken somehow. 
I got up from the toilet and opened the door, not even flushing, I think, and I fell down in the hall in the doorway, completely blacked out and collapsed. My brother came running. Mom, I lean fell down. Oh, are you all right? I guess you gotta look at the toilet. Come on, you'll be all right. She pulled me up. Later I got one of those huge cotton pads to put between my legs. So, this chick just texted me out of the blue. I was about to go to sleep. Uh, it's 2 a.m. Friday night. My taxes are due tomorrow. And uh, I got a class presentation that I kind of need to be prepared for at 3 o'clock. And this chick texts me out of the blue. Hope you're doing something interesting. I'm like, yeah, I'm reading this book of art essays that's absolutely interesting. She's like, oh, well, not my scene. Should I take an Uber over? I'm like, fuck yeah, I take an Uber over. So she's on her way right now in a fucking Uber. Uh, my Tinder profile has gotten a lot more successful recently. I'm kind of like dating out of my league. Like a lot of these chicks are like qualifying themselves to me. Like I'm some kind of super hot commodity or something. And like, I don't, I don't know if this chick's going to come over and be like sorely disappointed or what. But, uh, you, you know, you text somebody at, 2 a.m. on a Friday night. I think it's implicit, maybe, in the uh, situation, the timing. I'm in my pajamas, though. This is her, on my way. <laughs> so, it is the next morning, and that chick just left. It was your fairly... I mean, she was fucking hot. It was your fairly... I mean, I've ne I don't think I've ever had that happen before, where, like, literally a girl texts me at 2 o'clock in the morning comes over her shoes were incredibly loud she had these wooden platform shoes she she looked kind of like stevie nicks she had like feathered kind of like uh blonde hair like toe head kind of hair um was wearing these crazy fucking like i said like wooden platform shoes like fucking clogs she was wearing these fucking zany like uh kind of like 70s native american pattern like polyester woven Indian blanket pants a shirt when she comes over she takes her jacket off her shirt says fucking Sturgis on it <laughs> she kept saying that I uh, sounded like her dad which was kind of a fucked up thing to say <laughs> and kind of like put me in my head a lot but uh, yeah the walk of shame was particularly loud down the stairs, clunk, you know, wooden, wooden shoes on wooden stairs, uh, I had fun, I don't think she did, I think she showed up and was extremely disappointed right off the bat, I don't think I'm ever gonna hear from her again, but, it was interesting getting to know her, you know. When you see a mountain coming, get out of its way. My uncle, 6'2", an oxen, told me after clipping my wings. I learned at an early age to be a black man is to see a black man and fear his size, momentum. To love a black man is to see his shape and surrender. I lay myself down on his threshing floor. Say uncle and wait apocalypse across my arms. When two gods enter a room, one is humbled. But there are no walls, no floors in the space. So I say lover when I meet them dead.
legit conversations about life, art, and poetry. <laughs> and I hope that it was as enriching for you guys as it was for me. I was working late alone in the lofted office. The back door of the building cloaked metallically open and closed. And a few seconds later, through the spaces between the beams of the guardrail, I saw her walking the length of the northern half of the downstairs space. It is a promise that my eyes can open to whatever vista I conjure, which won't be some airless room you're blinking away in. I can promise us that. You grew instead a pair of malic acid scented wings as you nestled between two teeth. What vast space was already poured into my lungs? The four winds are my daughters. Our breath is not our private breathing, but the breathing of the whole world and in the end, the breathing of a God that makes a poem of us. Huh, it was. We used to have like a fucking badass art collective kind of thing. Isn't that, is that what's happening? It was. Something got shut down. Oh, okay. This thing cut sludge. 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 <laughs> Are we on? Oh, really? Yeah, we're on. <laughs> Hello, my name is Addison Bale, and I'm the child son. <laughs> that is so funny. I saw on Blue's Clues, I was in the mail. Uh, Blue's Clues, like, <laughs> like, let's look at the mail. <laughs> like, opens up the mail. Me and like five other little kids pop oh. out of it. Yeah, dude. That's so, funny. so we stopped, but that's how I got my my fame and fortune. Oh, so you have like a trust fund to like take care of you? No, no.